Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L. I have been tutoring now for about 15 years. I tutor dental hygiene students and dental assisting students past the board exam and I get emails daily of what you should be doing to really ensure your success in passing. Or I get emails from people saying that they didn't pass the board exam and what can they do differently to pass a second time. So let me tell you, let me tell you some great tips. A lot of them might not seem like common sense either, but will really make a big difference. So number one is you need to study everything. Do not study things that you don't think you know. Study things even if you think you already know them. A lot of students will only study oral pathology or pharmacology because it's hard. And when they were in school, they didn't really understand it or they had a bad mark on their tests, exams, whatever. But I want you to go back to day one and study everything because you don't know what's going to be on the exam. If you're part of my course, the Board Exam Prep Academy, I list um, modules for you of exactly what to study and when to study so you don't have to go back through your notes in school. You don't have to read the textbook. None of that. I give everything for you. And my course is based on previous exams. What has been on there It is based on practice exams. You name it. That's the best place to get started. Number two tip would be Try not to get overwhelmed. That's not a very good tip, I know. But the worst thing to do is think, oh my God, I have to study so much. This is horrible. I don't know what to do. F um, formulate a study plan, okay? So today, study nutrition. Tomorrow, for four hours, study oral pathology. The next day, you have to work. So maybe you can only study for one hour. Um carries control, you know, study things like that and make a plan. Inside my course, I have a plan for you if that's hard for you to do because I know it can be overwhelming. The worst thing to do is not study at all. Another bad thing to do is study eight hours all day, every day. You will not retain the information, okay? Another tip is to take mock exams and practice tests. That is really one of the best ways to study because you don't know what you don't know until you take a mock exam, until you take a practice test and maybe you do very, very poorly. Then that tells you you need to go back to those certain topics and study them again and then you will understand them. They will stick in your head a lot easier if you do it that way. I don't want you guys to just open up a textbook and read. That will not help you. It's good to have a focused study plan, okay? Another good thing to do is, and I know I'm kind of biased here, but sign up for a tutoring course. I have one for you called the Board Exam Prep Academy, but let me tell you why. Because inside the course, I have everything outlined in modules for you. So you don't get overwhelmed not knowing what to study, how to study, when to study. I give it all for you. Plus, we meet online for our group study sessions where I go over a mock exam practice test at every single session for 45 minutes where I go through questions and we talk about multiple choice answers. I help to teach you guys how to pick the best answer. There will always be two answers, but I teach you guys critical thinking and how to pick the best answer. You cannot do that on your own because how can you teach yourself how to pick the best answer when you don't know? So sign up for a tutoring course. I can help you. Another nice thing is, is it's live, you know, online. It's one thing to study by yourself, reading notes, or even taking my course and just studying, reading the notes, watching the videos, watching the lectures. But if you come online with our study group where I am there for you, like right here, you guys, I am answering any questions you have. I can help to explain things for you in real time. It's kind of like if we're doing this in person, right? But not. Um, that's the best way to do it. You will gain confidence. You will feel like you have focused studying every time so you can pass. There's nothing worse than feeling so overwhelmed, not knowing what to study, when to study, not even knowing if your past eight hours you did well in studying. There's nothing worse than the not knowing, right? At least taking a course, you know it's focused studying. I do still maintain a 99.4% success 
rate helping students pass the exam. So I can help you pass. If you do the homework, if you read the modules, read the materials, listen to the lectures, take the mock exams and come on live for our study sessions, you will pass and you'll almost have fun studying. Yes, did I say that? It's true because all of the notes that I have for you, I have outlined them in a much easier way to study for you. So you're not just reading boring notes, you are reading exciting notes and I'm helping to explain it for you. So I hope this helps. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.